Hello, this is Brian with uh, Tandem, and this is a quick video on how to add groups into your Tandem account. Um, your groups can be found underneath the My Organization area, and they're the third on the list here underneath People and Facilities. So by adding groups, um, this account here is set up as a school district. You'll see a list of schools here, but um, really groups can be customized to whatever type of groups your organization is scheduling internally. Um, so for the sake of example, for the school district, um, their type of groups are things like uh, their volleyball team or the golf team or a math club. Um, so think of groups as you know, groups of people with sort of a common activity or purpose. Um, something like a math club, um, which would be doing things like, you know, meeting about math club meetings and perhaps they're, they're hosting a math club competition. Um, and there's people that are inside that math club. So once we add that math club, um, what we can do here is actually add anybody that's in charge of scheduling this uh, group any members of the math club or any followers of the math club. Now, here's the difference between these three different types of people. Schedulers have admin privileges to, when they log in to Tandem, to add, edit, cancel, delete, change these events um, that have to do with this group. So, typically these are people that are on your staff or are a team manager, somebody that's in charge of managing and scheduling that group. Now, members are members of the actual group, so in this case, members of the math club. And by adding their email, first name, and last name here, um, you'll ensure that they, Tandem will send them a link and they'll be able to subscribe to the public and the private events that this group is doing. Very important. Followers are people who are really just want to know about the events, the public events that this group is doing. So the difference between a member and a follower is that members will get public and private events for this group and followers will only receive the public events. So once you've added all of your groups in the group section, what you'll notice is then here in add event, under participants, um, you'll notice that the groups here are actually located um, underneath your organization. And if I was finding down, I could actually track down and find that math club um, here, which I added in the groups area and schedule them for an event um, that I'm putting together here. So we really encourage you to set up all of your groups in the groups area, um, add any individual groups that are custom to your organization because it'll help tie together your community and let them know what events are going on and when they're happening. Finally, any group um, set of calendar or set of schedules, set of events can be automatically uh, synced into someone's Apple calendar on their iPhone, on their Android phone. It works uh, really well with Google Calendar, Outlook, any personal digital calendar out that's on the internet or available right now on mobile devices. Any of the events that you schedule for these groups can be automatically synced directly into those devices as well, which is very, very handy for anyone in your community. Okay, that's been a quick uh, video on how to add groups, and we encourage you to continue to look into the setup guide and make sure that um, you're getting set up correctly. Okay, have a great day.